Yeah. All right, so we've been doing Hero Quest for a year now, because this is going to be Quest 12, and we only do one quest a month. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, they're going to be level 8 for this adventure. Um, so they're closing in on the on the end of all this, which should be pretty pretty interesting to see. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just start uh, start this thing out. So I've done some major updates to my mods since the last time I worked on uh, Hero Quest and Foundry. Hero Quest is stored on its own server, so there's that. Um, I guess not server, but eh, maybe it's a server. I don't know the terms. Uh, it's got its own game instance. So, yeah. Uh, but now it has the same uh, settings and mods that Paradise Veil does, which eventually, like, a robot will post a link to those mods in chat. Uh, one of the things that it has uh, now is the ability to sort it into folders, add custom thumbnails to the different um, different scenes, which is pretty cool. And then up here, I can even um, toggle off navigation, so I don't have to have this whole thing crowded with stuff that I don't need. So I can go through here and uh, get rid of these. So let me turn some of these off real quick. Anything that enhances the UI, um, I'm a big fan of. Th those are definitely the kind of quality of life things that uh, I wish I had access to in, um, <coughs> excuse me, in Roll20. All right, so, um, yeah, let's let's do this thing. Quest, uh, quest 12, let me grab my design document for this. There we go. All right. And while I'm grabbing the design document, I should also bust out the quest book so we can take a look at that. I did do a little bit of uh, legwork ahead of time. I've already imported the maps for this adventure. I say maps because there's actually two different sections to this adventure, um, which means we need to be a lot more careful about how much content we put in because if there's two different maps and we still only have four hours to do it, uh, we definitely don't want to overload it with too much content. Um, so that's something I have to keep an eye out for. Uh, all right, here we go. Trying to open up this, uh, this quest book here. Okay, so this one is called um, Quest 12 Barak Tor, Barrow of the Witch Lord. And this is when, as a kid, you realize that, you know, 10 years old, you realize that shit was getting real. Um, shit was getting real. So, um, war with the Eastern Orcs is brewing, and the Emperor needs to unite the lesser kingdoms for the conflict to come. To do this, you must find the ancient star of the West as worn by the kings of legend in ages past. You'll be rewarded with 200 gold coins to be evenly divided amongst all heroes. Uh, when the Star of the West is returned to safety... Uh, so, the Star of the West lies in Barak Tor, the resting place of the evil witch lord. He was defeated by the magical spirit blade long ago. This blade is the only weapon that can harm him. So this is a lot of foreshadowing there, obviously. Uh, Witch Lord, he's there. You can't fight him. It's gonna kick your ass. Uh, wandering monster here is just a skeleton. Uh, no big deal there. There's a lot of false doors uh, in this adventure, which is interesting. And there are a lot of secret doors. So this was where the game started to get a bit more complicated. Uh, there's some random ass zombie that has the Star of the West. Uh, there is a special falling block trap that will collapse automatically after the last hero passes by it, and then it will trap you inside. 
Uh, so that's cool. Got to remember that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then what else do we got here? Uh, the Tomb of the Witch Lord. Uh, the Witch Lord will be released from his imprisonment when the first hero enters the room. Uh, use the Chaos Warlock figure, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then read this to the players. You don't get that very often. You've broken the magical seal that kept the Witch Lord in prison. Now he's awoken, you must run. Only the Spirit Blade can harm him. So that's like two times they told you only the Spirit Blade can harm him. Um, first hero search for treasure will find a magical staff. Again, this whole game was made for the wizard, I think, because all the best loots are all wizard loots. The Witch Lord is not affected by any weapon or spell. Only the Spirit Blade can harm him. Uh, the heroes must try to recover the Spirit Blade in the next quest. Uh, the Witch Lord is tired. He only moves one space per turn, and he rolls two combat dice when attacking. He knows the following spells. Summon Undead, Fear Command, and Ball of Flame. Alright. Um, as you can see, this uh, dungeon has uh, quite a few traps, uh, buckets, and buckets of undead. So that's pretty interesting. So my adaptation of it pretty much reads as thus. Two of the Lords of Chaos still live. Uh, Duke Christophorus, champion of Nurgle, has launched a counter-strike against us. Allied with the foul vermin known as the Skaven, they have unleashed a deadly disease that now ravages the kingdoms of men, dwarf, and elf alike. Uh, but there is a way to stop it. If the champion of Nurgle is slain, his blood can be used by the wizards of the academy to create a cure. Thanks to the information gathered in the Castle of Mystery, and through the power of the Talisman of Lore, we have determined the location to be the Barrow of the Witchlord. Yes, the same site that Chaos believes the resurrection of darkness will take place at. Uh, it can be no mere coincidence. Heroes, go forth and destroy the foul abomination Duke Christophorus and learn what you can of that evil place. Alright, so. Um, yeah. Now, that all sounds pretty cool. Um, there are two maps that Heroic Maps made. <coughs> excuse me that Heroic Maps made for this adventure. Uh, an outdoor part and an indoor part. So, they're both gorgeous. And the outdoor map is just spectacular. Look at how beautiful this is. Um, I have used this outdoor map in other campaigns and, like, plopped a tower on top of this hill. All sorts of crazy shit. Um, it's real nice. Now, the entrance to the dungeon is all the way down here. Uh, so we want the party to have to start somewhere else. So we're going to probably have them start way up here on the other side of the map. And then they'll have to make their way over to here. And they will be waylaid uh, by orcs on the way there. Which is kind of tame, you know, orcs. But we are going to introduce one of my favorite orcs from Warhammer, the Maw Crusher. Uh, it's not really an orc. It's a, it's a wyvern that orcs train, and the Maw Crusher is, uh, is pretty beast mode. It's pretty beast mode. Uh, let me see if I can find you a picture of one. Uh, actually, I think I already have one. I could just make it a journal handout. Yeah, that works. All right, so let's create an entry, and we'll call this Maw Crusher. And let's see, go to image, and just go grab it, uh, let's see, this would be hero quest, does hero quest have its own folder? Mm, no, alright, let's make a folder for hero quest. Okay, slowly but surely. We're building out our organization. All right, so let's see. Uh, where did I put that? There it is. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, so um, it's one of the most gorgeous miniatures I've ever seen in my entire life. 
Um, I do not own or uh, have not painted such a miniature, but damn is it cool. Uh, there it is. Look at that thing. Look at that beefy boy. Oh my god. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so the Maw Crusher is basically a wyvern that goes to the gym a lot. It's all about, um, all about that protein and making those gains. So, I for sure wanted to, at least once during this campaign, have them fight a Maw Crusher. And, of course, just a bunch of orcs. Um, so, it's going to be a single encounter that ranges across this entire thing. I was asking my friend, Stone Wolfen, about the Maw Crusher's abilities. It has sort of a sonic screen uh, type deal. And it just hits really hard. Which made me think of another monster, the Tigrex. So, we're just going to go and grab a Tigrex. Uh, we could do a regular Tigrex or a Brute Tigrex. Let's see what the Brute Tigrex has to offer. CR 20. Okay, maybe a little strong for level 8. Holy shit. Uh, hmm. mm -hmm. Especially if it's backed up by a bunch of, uh, of other people. Alright, let's see what a regular Tigrex has. Alright, and I'm using Quick Insert to do this searching, which is probably my favorite mod right now. Regular Tigrex is a CR-16 monster. Okay, so it's no slouch. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna do Tigrex. And we'll drag Tigrex over to our Actors tab. There we go. Alright. And we're gonna change it out for the Maw Crusher art. So let's go to Tokens. Let's see, Hero Quest. And I have two different Maw Crushers. The miniature did not translate very well into a miniature, oddly enough. Uh, so I found this other colorful art of a Maw Crusher. Alright, uh, let's see. And then, uh, let's see, we'll change Tigrex out for Maw Crusher. There we go. And prototypes, uh, Maw Crusher. All right, and we're going to link this actor. There we go. And we're going to make him slightly bigger than he already is. Fantastic. And I don't think he needs anything else because his vision should be fine. Um, resources should be fine, all that. I'll double check, but yeah. Okay. Oh, and we gotta change out his art. There we go. Alright, so. Uh, we got a Maw Crusher. Let's drag that sweet boy. Out. Holy shit. That's really cool. Okay. So, we've got a Maw Crusher. Fantastic. Mission accomplished. Um, now we're gonna go back in time, and we're gonna get Grack. Uh, so we're going all the way back to... Gosh, I don't remember which adventure it is. Um, but Grack is the son. Let's see. Do we have Grack anywhere? Mm, no. All right. I think he was just a warlock. So we're going to just grab a warlock. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to keep it kind of simple. Since I'm not using Giphy Glyph stuff, I, I don't have to, like, forget. But Grack was the son of Warlord Ulag who apparently did make it over. So I don't know why poor Grack didn't make it over. It's so weird who survives the uh, migration and who doesn't. All right, so Warlock. Uh, we want a bad guy Warlock, so we want something that is an uh, actor. Uh, Warlock of the Raven Queen. Warlock of the Fiend. I think that's what we did. We did a Warlock of the Fiend. All right, so we'll drag that over. There we go. Alright. So. Let me see. Hmm. Where would his art be if he didn't make the migration? Uh, let's try to find it on the computer. Alright. Uh, technically, you're he's an orc. So maybe he got put in the orc folder? Uh, yep, yeah, there he is. Yeah, these minis are so small 
file size wise that I don't actually mind them being in multiple folders if it makes it easier to find stuff. So this is Grack, Orc, Warlock. All right, cool. And here's his token. He will also be linked. We'll do Orc, Warlock. Oh yeah, Grack, sorry. All right, we won't make him any more powerful than he was before though. So that'll be fun. And oh, what else? What else does he need? Uh, we should probably allow them to hover over his name. And good. All right. So Grack, he'll be riding around on that Maw Crusher, of course. Okay, and then we're just going to have regular ass orcs for the other stuff. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> as cool as it would be to have him right up there at the top, uh, it might be better. Whoa. Oh, did it give him sight? That's unfortunate. I don't need him to have sight. Oh well. Um, nah, that's annoying. Okay, so Grack will be off to the side. He'll fly in, uh, and then we'll have some orcs. All right, so we'll literally just drag out these orcs. And why are these orcs? Oh, I know what's wrong. Uh, I don't think I changed the token mold for this server. So let's change that real quick. Uh, add suffixes, set token sizes. All right, overwrites, always show the hit points. Uh, don't show me anything for the secondary bar. Always hover over the name, always neutral. Doesn't have any vision. Randomly size it, randomly mirror it. All right, good. So now it should not have that second bar. Yeah, that, wait, nope. Still has the second bar. What the? All right. Okay. Random adjectives. Okay. Don't have a second bar. Check. So why are you doing this? Uh, let's see. Prototype token. Not linked. Resources. Hmm. You're supposed to have that stripped away. Oh, well. Uh, I could live with it. It's fine. Uh, all right. Or not. There we go. So, orcs, orcs, orcs. Just putting orcs everywhere. Um, I get the same effect from that if I just paste them. So, I will. I'll just paste these guys down. There we go. Not too many. Not too many orcs. Uh, and then we'll do a couple of goblins. So let me go to the prototype token so that it doesn't drive me crazy when it tries to do a secondary bar there, even though it's supposed to strip it out. Uh, so put a couple of goblins. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Control C and paste them in. All right. Good, and then we'll give them like, uh, I think that's good, because the real threat here is going to be Grack on his uh, crusher, uh, Maw Crusher. Alright, so that's that encounter. So they're going to roll in over here. So we might as well preload their minis onto the scene. Uh, so let's do that real quick. Heroes, Stabby, Quarles, Rega. Squish, who's still beat up. That's fine. Uh, Steven, Silrus, and of course, Frank, the greatest among all heroes. All right. Sweet. And since we're zoomed in on the party, we could do a dramatic opening shot where they could see some orcs. Also, let's take a moment to appreciate how dope those clouds look just going by. I don't know. They look amazing. Uh, alright, let's see. I need to go to my scene, and I need to go to the settings. 
configuration, scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're going to take a snapshot of what we see right now. So now when this page loads, this is the exact same um, thing that they're going to see when it zooms in, which is cool. And then we'll have this guy descend from the clouds up above, and shit will get nuts. All right. That in and of itself would be an amazing session, but this is only the appetizer, because then uh, we have to go inside the dungeon. So let's go to Quest 12 Indoors. All right, this is the actual dungeon. And you can see that it does match up pretty close-ish to the original. Um, you've got a bunch of long winding hallways around the outside that don't seem to matter. Check. Uh, we got a couple of, we got three rooms in a row here, uh, with a secret door. One, two, three, secret door. Uh, we've got the witch, uh, lord's actual tomb. Hey, get back here. The witch lord's actual tomb. Uh, we've got two little closets full of skeletons. Uh, we've got a mummy situation. Uh, going on right here. Uh, we have a plinth for the gargoyle to stand on. Gar gargoyle right there. Uh, and then he did add a bunch of extra rooms that we didn't actually need. Um, you know, whatever. And then there is this really cool bad guy round table, which there was just a single mummy at last time. So, let me get that out of the way. All right. So, this is where the heroes will enter, is down here. So, we may as well uh, put the heroes down. So, once again, we'll drag out our friends. There we go. Squish with the hard nipples. Uh, Steven, Silverus, and main character, Frank. Alright. So, um... Looks like they won't be able to see unless I give Frank some vision. Hmm, that's frustrating. All right, so let's do that real quick. Uh, yeah, there we go. We will link the token, and now he will have vision. All right, he won't get a cool adjective every time he gets summoned, but that's okay. Uh, no staircase today? Uh, nah, this dungeon, is, we're trying something new trying something new. I mean, I guess this is a staircase over here. Uh, let's go right there. Let's zoom in hella close uh, so that they don't know that there's a secret door to their right. We don't want them to notice that secret door. So we're going to zoom in the camera right here so that they only notice that. Uh, let's see. Go back to our scenes. Go to indoor, configure, and we're going to turn on uh, we're going to take a little snapshot there we go so when this map loads up it's going to be zoomed in this close it's going to be right here now something that i have learned as a gm is that i can see doors but the secret doors look the same as regular doors now it doesn't matter if i lock this door because it still looks like a regular door so i need to have some sort of marker that lets me know that this is a secret door so, um, a lot of cool ideas have been suggested to me, uh, including, um, like, really smart stuff, like going to, I think it's these guys, uh, journal, journal notes, and just dragging out one that says secret door and putting it there. Um, I've been drawing, which is super ugly. You could do that. Uh, you go to object layer, and we could have a little symbol for the secret door that we put down which kind of looks dope. Um, yeah. I kind of like that one, actually. Uh, let's see. Hero Quest. Secret door. Can we get a good shot of what the secret door tile looks like? Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. So let's go into our friend of Photoshop. Uh, there we go. And we'll put that down. And we're going to crop it to just be the secret door tile. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see, image, auto contrast, beautiful. Save it out. Okay. That'll be fun. 
I could like pretend I'm 10 years old again. Which I guess I spend a lot of time wishing I was 10 years old. Uh, let's see. Hero quest tokens. Eh, technically, this would be UI. So let's go to the UI stuff. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll just put it right here at the top of the of the thing. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's see. Hero quest secret doors. Well, it's visible to me as a door. It's not visible to the players. Um, but if I'm zoomed out and I'm not paying attention, like I'll describe a room and I'll be like, you see a door to the north and a door to the east, but they don't see a door to the east. I see a door to the east because I'm the DM. So that's been super obnoxious. Uh, all right. Now, if I move this to DM's layer, there's no way I could not notice that that's a fucking secret door. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, we'll do that, and we'll do that. Yeah, that works pretty good. As long as I can still affect the doors, yeah. Um, let's see, there were a bunch of secret doors. So, let's go... Here we go. Alright, uh, another secret door. There we go. Oh yeah, also, if the music is too, too loud, let me know. I'm trying to play with sound stuff to maybe get better sound levels between different things so um all right that is all the secret doors so those are all marked fantastic what music oh really i'm like streaming some music while i'm uh i'm doing this but if you can't hear it maybe i gotta turn it up a little bit hold on uh let's see All right, you can hear it? Okay. Yeah, so if it's too loud, just let me know. But apparently it wasn't too loud. All right, what else do we got here? Um, gargoyle. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, let's see. So there's a lot going on here. Um, I said there were gonna be Skaven. So, I don't actually have stats for Skaven. So we could just put some rat folk in there, which is fine. Um, I don't think Skaven are in here. Scavengers? Abyssal scavengers? No. Alright, so we'll go with some rat folk. Alright, uh, what do we got? We got a rat folk mercenary. How strong are you? Well, it's, pretty, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Okay. Uh, so let's load up our actors tab with uh, rat folk, which will now be Skaven. Uh, so we'll do rat folk. There we go. And rat folk mercenary. And we don't want to overcomplicate it. Rat folk. Warlock. There we go. Pipe. Alright. So, I should have some art for these guys. Let me see what I've got. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Assets. Um, tokens. Hero quest. All right, let's see if I could find rat folk on my computer. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I've got some. Sweet. Oh, they look horrible. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll get this guy out. Good stuff. Yeah, look at how mean and gross that looks. Now, obviously, rats are not mean and gross, but uh, Skaven are pretty bad. So, uh, let's see. 40k Skaven? Yeah, I tried to play when I was a kid. Uh, 
I tried to play some Warhammer Fantasy, and I, I had a Skaven army, and it was a lot of work. Everything about it was a lot of work, but I did think that they were pretty cool, the Skaven. Uh, let's see, tokens, hero quest, and we got to upload some more. Uh, let's see. We need some rant folk that look like they'd be tough, but maybe not spellcasty. Um, no, this will this will do. It's fun. All right. Yeah. And we'll change out the art here as well. There we go. And then finally, we've got our rat folk warlock. All of these are just trash mobs. They're all trash. Uh, that's fine. And let's see. And let's see. We've got to select a file. Nope, that was not what we wanted. Uh, let's try again. Image. Go here. Shortcut. All right. Uh, let's see. It's not giving me the option to upload, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that is weird. Okay. Um... Hmm. It's there now. Uh, here we go. Get a little horned rat action. And swap this out as well. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got some Skaven now that we could use. Um, RTX Studio, they said it's still in beta. And I didn't have time to check if my... Um, video card was compatible with the RTX Studio. I did sign up to to have access to the software, so I signed up for like a developer's um, kit or whatever, so that I could have access to it because it is pretty amazing. Yeah, but it's still in beta, so um, it's it's going to be a whole lot of work to get it up and running. All right, so who is here? Um, the Nurgle guy is here for sure. So, we're going to go to uh, Bad Guys from Last Adventure. Let's see. Champion of Slanesh and Champion of Nurgle. Oh, Champion of Nurgle. You should not be so small. Uh, I've learned a lot since the last time we did this uh, Hero Quest stuff. So, let me fix all this shit real quick. Alright. Champion of Nurgle is big. There we go. Let's drag him out. Much better. Uh, so Champion of Nurgle will be sitting there. And then the Champion of Slanesh. I probably need to mess with their stuff as well. Yep. Alright. Oh, wow. You've got great, great vision there. Hold on. Alright, cool. So, Champion of Slanesh, Champion of Nurgle. So they're there having this round table meeting trying to figure out what to do about the, the Witch Lord. All right, let's go ahead and grab a gargoyle um, for this hallway. Uh, let's see, they're getting pretty strong. Are they strong enough for a four-armed gargoyle? Probably not. Do we have a discount uh, four-armed gargoyle? Giant four-armed, giant four-armed green. Discount, there. Discount four-armed gargoyle. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so... I need a statue to put there so it's not completely obvious. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. So, let's see. We're going to go to... Oh, wow. Going way, way up here. Uh, tokens and elementals. Gargoyle. There we go. Perfect. Wow, CR10. Oof, that's going to be tough. 
All right, let's see. And I mean, they're they're gonna be level eight. This this should all be nothing, nothing to them. Uh, no, 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 no! Stop! I just want to get you your token. There we go. All right, we're gonna make them a little bit smaller. There we go. Hey, why didn't you change out? Mm. All right, cool. Damn, that's huge. That is way too big. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Top down gargoyle. Let's see if we could find something that uh, passes for a gargoyle statue without being a gargoyle. I think I have a statue, though. Let's see. Uh, we'll go to this. And then... Uh, I got a whole folder of statues now. So we go to maps. We go down to statues. Alright. Are any of these statues passable for what we need? I think they're all people. They're all people statues. So probably not. Probably need to get some monster statues. Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, whatever. We'll use this guy for now. And we rotate with the mouse wheel. Because that's the thing that happens. And... Shrink him down. There we go. Works for me. Okay. So let's select this guy and... Item. Alright. So, we got the gargoyle. That's a whole thing. We got some mumias here. Got some mumias. So, drag over some mummies. Alright. Clammy mummy and unused mummy. Well, that's awkward. Alright, hide those. Um, I don't think any of these do anything until the end of the game. Ominous. Um, so I'm going to lock all these doors. And if the party goes this way, it's just going to be a big waste of time. Um, maybe I should put some rubble at the bottom of the stairs so that it's even less of a waste of time. That might work. Uh, but then later, if they come back, because they, re they repeat this dungeon... They might be like, ah, nah, there was rubble that way, remember? And so they won't check. Hmm, that's a tough call. Uh, it wouldn't be too hard for them to check and see that the rooms are empty, so we'll just go with that. Oh, SRD top-down gargoyle. That's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Mm, gargoyle... Uh, Gargoyle SRD. It doesn't have a picture listed. No. Oh, well. I'll find one eventually. A statue is a statue is a statue for now. Alright. Um, so, we got mummies there. And then, what does this adventure say? Mummy, mummy, mummy. Zombies. Okay. So, for this, um, hmm, we've got a spooky book over here. We could have a stronger mummy. Uh, what else we got? Mummy of the Deep, Mummy Warlord, Mummy Lord, a centaur mummy, that sounds awesome, a venomous mummy, a blighted mummy, a lesser mummy lord, a royal sorcerer mummy, a hill giant mummy. A blighted mummy. What do you got, blighted mummy? What makes you so cool? Uh, you got a bronze longsword and a life drain. You got a bind shade. Uh, you have to do it to someone who has just died. No, we don't, we don't need that kind of action. Let's see. What else we got? Um, an Etten mummy. That actually sounds hype as hell. I don't think there's anything big enough to hold an Etten mummy. 
And then I'd have to go get art for an Etten mummy. I am curious, though. What do you got, Etten mummy? Rotting fist, dreadful glare. Oh. I mean, he's just a mummy and an Et. I don't know what I was expecting. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bog mummy. I love venomous mummy. Venomous mummy might work. And we do have, um... You know, we have the Nurgle guy, so it makes sense to have, like, a, a Venomous Mummy. So, we'll go with the Venomous Mummy. Alright, and that's a really cheesy art, so let's go grab a different one. So, Tokids, Hero Quest. Uh, are there new mummies? Let's see. Maybe? Uh, mummy token 2? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Look at that mummy. That looks cool. Alright. Okay, so now we've got a venomous mummy. That's way cooler. Alright. Uh, so we'll put venomous mummy right here. And he could hide. Excellent. Um, we got ass loads of skeletons. Alright, so that would be here. So, we'll just bring Reggie skeletons out. Now, when I played through Hero Quest as a kid, my friend, a future dungeon master, no doubt, um, he did it that when you woke the Witch Lord, all of the undead in the whole dungeon activated. Uh, which was terrifying. Uh, which was terrifying. Alright, let's see. Champion of Slanesh and Champion of Nurgle are here. So that's going to be a rough situation if they go into that room. Um, let's make it even more rough and we'll give them some more Chaos Warriors. There we go. These Chaos Warriors are at this meeting. Uh, we'll give them like an Orc boss. There we go. Hype. Uh, maybe a boss of the goblins is there. There we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Alright. Um, I don't know why it keeps spawning, like, these extra bits at the top, which is driving me crazy, but I'm not going to bother fixing it, because i got too much other stuff to do today. Um, over here... In this busted area, it would be another venomous mummy who um, is already out of its tomb. There we go. And then this room is just listed as having an ass load of undead. But I'm actually going to make this room like a puzzle room. So what we're going to do is go to journal. And we're going to create an entry called uh, simple puzzle. All right. And then basically, um, if the party burns offerings in the brazier, they receive boons uh, based on value of items sacrificed. Uh, let's see. Bullshit some skill checks to see if they figure it out. And then, uh, why don't we just put some flavory stuff like, um, uh, sacrifice to arcane flame. Your rewards will be commensurate it. God, Jesus Christ. Uh, measure it. I don't think I spelled that right. Um, with. No, 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 no. Your rewards will outshine. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Your gains will outweigh 
for losses. There we go. Period. Quote. All right. So we've got that. And what's cool about this is I could drag this shit out and just pop it right on there. But ba bam And now I have, like, a thing to help me remember uh, that that is there, which is pretty cool. Um... All right, and I think there's like an option to change out the uh, little book for something else. I don't know. This will be fun. Oh, your gains will outweigh what remains. Mm, it's very rhymy. It's very rhymy. Um, mm, all right. This room right here is going to be zombies and skeletons. So we'll just go to the basics. Um... Let's see. Where are you at, regular zombie? Zombie? Did you not make it over? Did I never make a hero quest zombie? No, that's impossible. I don't see you, though. Uh, let's see what happened to him. Um, I mean, zombies are, are really not that fun. But um, we got Ash zombies. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an idea. I want zombies that are really diseased. So let's see if there's any horribly diseased zombies. Uh, we got spore zombies. We got bloated zombie. Oh, yeah. We would definitely want a bloated zombie. What do you do? Hey, that's the same exact art that I made for your mini in advance. Look at that shit. Um, you can spew bile and you explode when you die. That's exactly what I was looking for. Wonderful. Alright, so tokens, hero quest, zombie fatty, and select, and update, and we're good to go. Um, actually, I want you to be very fat, so maybe I should set your token to always be fat. Here we go. Nice. Alright, get in there, bloated zombies. Yeah. All right, and let's see, we'll have these guys back here, and then we'll have some regular zombies, but where the hell are my regular zombies at? Hmm. All right, let's see, uh, feral zombies, husk zombie, what's a husk zombie? What do you do? Curse of the husk, me. All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, zombie beast folk, zombie goblins, zombie chimera. Man, there's a lot of zombies. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. Hmm. I just want, like, a diseased one. Is that too much to ask? Spore zombie, husk zombie, ash zombie. Hmm. Maybe the ash zombie would be good. I think it does the thing where it, like, poofs out. Yeah, ash puff. Um, eh. It's only a DC 10 constitution save. It's almost like, why bother at that point? Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Who would have thought that picking out a zombie would be the, the thing that slowed down this whole operation? Uh, let's see. Ravenous zombie. Ooh, that sounds good. What is ravenous zombie? Holy shit, 85 health. Wow. Devour. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll save you for later. We'll definitely save you for later. All right, we're just going to go with the regular zombie at this point. Um, zombie, and done. Okay. Uh, let's go in and grab you a better miniature. Uh, here we go. Nope, wrong folder. That's hero quest art. We want hero quest tokens. There we go. Uh, yeah, definitely looks like I don't have a uh, zombie for that. So... Let's go grab one. Alright, tokens. Hero quest. There you are. Hero quest zombie. 
Long time, buddy. Long time. Good. All right. Um. There. Okay. So you can hang out with these fat zombies. There you go. So cute. Okay. That's good. All right. You're facing the wrong way, and I think that's adorable. Um, then we've got nothing back here. Uh, oh, except um, traps. So these are going to be arrow traps, as advertised. There's going to be three arrow traps and a pit trap as well. You know what would be cooler than that, though, is if a giant ball like fell down and, and, and killed the ball. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so let's do all of them. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, so, so we'll go here and go up. And I think under maps, I should have something called traps. There we go. And we've got this really jarring, doesn't match with anything else we've got going on. Um, look, I should probably just pick up a trap pack at this point. Yeah, probably. All right, let's see. It's definitely uh, an asset that I am lacking in. There we go. Okay, and then let's see. Arrow trap. It's kind of tempting to just take the wood from Hero Quest, sort of like we do with the secret door. But I could probably get away. I don't really need to show the arrow trap. I can just get away with using a journal entry for that. All right. So let's see. Download. Or did you go to desktop? There we go. So here's a pit trap that's actually a bit more menacing. There we go. And we just drag that over. Well, bam. Uh, and let's see. We'll have the trap down here at the bottom of the stairs. Excellent. Uh, shift. And then hide it. Good. And then we need a boulder. So, round boulder. Hmm. Ooh, this one looks pretty good. Alright. Hmm. This one's perfect, but it's got like a watermark on it. Let's see. Ah. Alright. Let me check my own stock photo website. Not that I own it, but one that I use. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, you wouldn't be a stock photo site unless you had a round boulder. That seems like standard issue stuff. Uh, let's see, we got a dude holding a boulder. This is getting pushed down a cliff. Uh, we just got some stone textures. Yeah, you know what? We could just make our own. So we'll take this stone texture. Yep, that's what we want. Take this. And... I could have sworn I had one of these boulders, but I can't find it, so... There we go. And then we'll take this, and we'll... Make a circle, and we'll cut it out. There we go. Give rid of that background. Pull one of these bad boys. Make it smaller. Center it. All right. So then we'll go in here, and we'll do a bevel. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do a this and. 
Yeah, that works. Soft that up. Okay. It's getting a little round. That's fine. Um, all right. And then we'll go in here and we'll darken it up. There we go. All right, that works pretty good. Uh, let's see. Then we'll go make a do layer, and we'll flatten this with the do layer. And we'll go in here. It will get rid of this extra crap on the outside that we don't need. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Um, I wonder if we beveled it again, if it would make it even more round. Probably not, though. Nah, not really. Alright. Um, hmm. It ain't perfect, but, you know, they might not even encounter it, so... There we go. And then we could... We could lighten it up, I guess. There we go. All right, we'll just take it as is. So save it out. It's massive, so let's reduce the paralyzing arrow traps as you fall on the stairs. The pit. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Let's do that. Um. All right. Let's see. Boulder round. Perfect. Okay. So, we'll go over here. We're already in the trap folder. Let's grab the boulder we just made from scratch. Sweet. Uh, it's got like a weird shadowy thing going on. Not particularly happy with that. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, it looks pretty good in the scene, though. Uh, so let's see. Go over here. And let's do this number. Yeah, that works. All right. That should have cut all the crap out. And we'll try one more time. But hey, now we have a boulder. We could use this rolling boulder on everybody. All right. Now, unfortunately, uh, there's some like delay. So if I overwrite this with like this new thing, it's going to be like, cool, I overwrote it. And I'll be like, thanks. But then when I go to use it, it'll still have this stupid crap on the outside, uh, which is very obnoxious. So it's okay though. Um, I think eventually it'll refresh and it'll look good. Uh, all right, so Boulder's gonna uh, fall down and start chasing them. This could represent the whole ceiling collapses and separates the party uh, deal. And then arrows are gonna shoot at them. So let's see. Who has paralyzing arrows? Merfolk do. This is the kind of stuff that I just have floating around in my head. Um, I think they're merfolk scavengers. Yes. They have a feature called inject toxin. There we go. Uh, okay. So we're going to steal this for our arrow traps. So we're going to create an actor, and they're going to be an NPC, and they're going to be called Arrow Trap. Nice to meet you, Arrow Trap. And I guess for their user icon, we could go to here, icons, items, weapons, bolt. Perfect. Alright. 
And I would say that they've got to at least be as good as the merfolk. So we'll give him a 14 for his dexterity. Sweet. Uh, Alright. And then we're going to steal Eject Toxin over here. There we go. Thank you, merfolk. And we're going to change this to be a paralyzing bolt. Nice. Uh, and then everything else should just work. Uh, oh, we got to change the range. I don't know. Some of my players would be like, ah, oh, it's only five feet. Um, so we'll change that. There we go. Now, could it have been easier for me to not make this monster? Absolutely. Um, but hey, now I have an arrow trap that I could just, you know, click the little button and it does its job and all of that. Um, all right. So select that. Um, obviously, it's very small, so we'll set it to be tiny. And we'll go to prototype. And we'll give it its own little picture. Beautiful. So we drag these out. Yeah, nice. And then hide them in the wall. Okay, so there, there. Uh, uh, there. Beautiful. Alright. Um. Wow. That is really satisfying to look at. With everything hidden and set up and the buttons. Oh, man. Stats and everything. Whew. That's cool. Um, and then, of course, they make it to the bottom. And then they're, everything's locked and empty. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We got another room with a brazier situation in here. Um, let's see. I don't want that to be another sacrificial room. Um, hmm. Could just be an empty room. Ooh, could be if you light this. That's what opens the secret door. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so we need like a pile of skulls. I think I already have one. Let me see. Uh, let's go to assets, maps, and there should be something called like corpses. That sounds weird. Um, coffins, floor. Nope. I guess I don't have my uh, my corpses and stuff already over here. That's a shame. Uh, debris though, I got bones. So let's bring those over. I'll put bones in here. There we go. Uh, Alright. Meeting. More secret doors. Gargoyles. Empty rooms. All that jazz. Exploding zombies. Um, uh, a somewhat of a puzzle room. Long, pointless hallways that do nothing. Let's go ahead and and grab some skeletons and we'll make those pop out of these little caskets there we go all right uh so i did want to have some nurgle type creatures all right have a good time at work uh so let's see i'm gonna do what's a what's a gross creature that has disease and is kind of slimy uh, uh, plague plague zombie there was a plague zombie the whole time oh my god uh, plague bringer Ooh, what are you uh, you're CR 20 probably a little much for guarding the door let's try again um, okay plague zombie hey it's like exactly what we need uh, what do you got? Nissian Plague. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you're bitten by it, you get a disease. Blah, blah, blah. Eh, that's not that cool. Uh, let's see. Some kind of demon that's gross. Uh, Nuber. Nuber Rebos? There we go. Yeah, look at that cutie. Oh, man.
Look at that cutie. That's exactly what we needed. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Oh, don't freak out, Foundry. Just because I went to another tab. We were doing so good. Alright, there you go. Uh, yeah, Nuparibo for the win. That's what we'll do. And let's see. I'm going to go to Icons. No, Tokens. There we go. Hero Quest. And I got these Nurglings. So we'll just use that art instead. Oh, lovely. And Prototype Token. Do I not get a Prototype Token? Uh, is it because I, I didn't drag you out? Damn it. All right. I will commit to this duper repo. There we go. All right. Prototype. Image. Paste. Update. All right. These guys are pretty much trash, but they have a cloud of vermin and hunger driven. So they seem kind of cool. Uh, so we'll grab a couple of those. There we go. And let's see. Put put one right there. And a couple of the room. There we go. Nice. Alright. The last thing we need then is the Witch Lord uh, himself. So. I think for this adventure, we could probably just get by with an invincible Lich. Uh, what are our options for Lich? We got Arc Lich. We got Regular Lich. We got Demi Lich. We got a Bane Lich. We got a Pack Lich. We got an Illa Lich. A Draco Demi Lich. A Dev Karen Lich. A Hierophant Lich. Oh my good god. Um, there's a lot of Liches there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Arklich sounds like it'd be very strong. CR thirty. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Nope. All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh. I know what a regular lich has, and that's fine. Uh. What about Demi Lich? Because he's still getting his shit together. Uh. CR eighteen. Uh. Oh wow. The tomb trembles violently. Uh, avoidance, turn immunity, life drain, howl, blood curdling howl. Uh, if you fail, you drop to zero hit points. Holy shit. Uh, if you succeed, you are frightened. Wowzers. That's really strong. Okay. Let's see, let's see what else we've got. Uh, Bane Lich. Mm hmm. Uh, cold fire, grasp of death, um, pain rack. It fixes its gaze on somebody. They take damage and are stunned for one minute. Oh my god. Wow. Bane Lich is pretty nuts. Okay. <sighs> wow, there's so many liches. So many liches. Um, a packed lich? Sounds like a warlock lich. Okay, what do you got going on? Longsword. Weird flex. Uh, yeah, I mean, liches are, liches are pretty cool. Um, they're definitely not a, I showed up and I killed the lich and it's over, because of the whole phylactery thing. They, they definitely represent more of like an investment of, of time and resources and all that. Armor of hexes. That sounds dope. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a Hexblade Lich. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. A Hexblade Lich. Oh, man. That is really neat. And you've got some pretty good spells here. Oh, my God. Psychic Scream. That's the one that makes people's heads explode. Um, I kind of like that. Like, instead of just another whiz robe? Yeah. Alright, you'll be a packed lich. There we go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. Um, 
Yeah, I'm down with this. I am down with this. Okay. So... Frightening gaze is really what, what we're after. I want to I want them to run away. I don't want them to stay and fight this guy. Uh, let's see. Where is the Witch Lord Mini? Uh, did I make it? Or did I forget to make it? Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Tokens, hero quest. Uh, I am not seeing it, so let me see if I didn't upload it. Oh, there he is. He's looking adorable. Okay. Look at that. That is so cute. Alright. Uh, some... There we go. I think he'll be slightly bigger than normal. And we'll link it, and we'll put the, with a capital T, uh, Witch Lord. And he is understandably hostile. Alright. Um, sweet. Uh, we should probably change his name to Witch Lord here also. Beautiful. All right, um, so we drag him over there. Sweet, he's gonna hide. Oop. And then we're gonna make him his own journal entry. Uh, so we can see that, that beautiful artwork of him when he climbs out of his sarcophagus. So we're gonna go back to our hero quest art folder where we got the Maw Crusher. And here is uh, the Witch Lord. Dope. All right. I like how he's all Skeletor. He's got like, you know, like a meaty body, but he's still got like a skull head. That's really cool. Um, sweet. So, there is, uh, there are magic items that are mentioned, right? There's the the wizard staff. Um, I feel like the wizard has gotten quite a few um, odds and ends. Um, so we might do something for Silverus, maybe? Like a bow? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so let's see. Bow. Bow of Mind Thievery. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh... Hand crossbow, vicious, oversized. Eh, I don't know. I'll keep an eye out for like a bow, I'm thinking. But I think I want to drop a bow in there because I feel like Silverus uh, uses a bow quite a bit. And, I mean, she does have a dancing scimitar already. Everybody's kind of like doing pretty good for loots. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, But yeah, there we go. Uh, we were able to build off of work that we already had done. So that helps. And as far as the dungeon itself, it's not lit at all, except for this outside area. So they're going to have to bring their own light sources, which is pretty cool. I guess these bad guys would have some kind of light situation going on. So let's take care of that real quick. Um, let's see. Under... Uh, maps. There should be a folder called Lights. There we go. And we got some lighting options. Um, let's see. Mini braziers. Slightly bigger braziers. Wall sconces. Uh, super big brazier. Hey, let's go with some wall sconces. There we go. Alright. So turn that guy like that. Beautiful. Uh, put one over here. Rotate it. Oh, that's so nice. Um, okay, we'll do that over here as well. Damn, those look pretty good. Um, all right. So they've got their room lit. I guess they wouldn't really light anything else. Yeah, the rest of the dungeon is just gonna be dark. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So then we'll go to the light sources, and we will drag out some light. There we go. Uh, this 
sweet. All right. And I don't think any of these people have sight, so I won't be able to jump in and see how it looks. Uh, hold on. Vision. Ooh, so cool. It is a very good looking platform. I do have to say, it is a very good looking platform. Alright. Um, we can turn that off now. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, huh, we've got um, the outdoor map. where they're going to have a rematch against Grack, riding on his Maw Crusher. Uh, and then we have the indoor area, which we may have overpopulated. I'm probably going to just, like, have or quarter most of the stuff's HP during this adventure, um, because I want them to... Obviously, they have to wake up the Lich King, or the, the Witch Lord, whatever. Uh, so, as long as they wake up the Witch Lord, that's, that's the main reason they're here. Um... He can only be awakened by um, uh, essentially heroes crossing over the threshold of his tomb. Um, so it's one of those accidental uh, things that will happen. Uh, very easy, of course, if they see this secret door and then, you know, inevitably they, they wake up the little short. So we'll determine, based on like how long the first part takes how easy it is to detect the secret door. If we're running low on time, they'll detect the secret door right away. Um, now, to really spice it up, uh, after they go, after the last person goes in here, this could be where it collapses, and now they're trapped inside. Oh, shit, that would be cool. Okay, just like the adventure uh, from original Hero Quest. So let's do that. Uh, debris... Where's our friend Rubble? There he is. Oh, yeah. That'll be great. That'll be great. All right. Hide you. Bam. So once the last hero goes through that door, uh, it'll collapse, trapping them inside. Then they wake the Witch Lord. The Witch Lord is going very, very slow, but they're trying to find their way out. And then they stumble across these people on their way out. Oh, man, it's going to be bananas. Okay. I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> Alright. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about this adventure. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think I have anything else to report at this time. Um, the hero quest thing is uh, its going to be fun. Um, I definitely think that this outdoor fight needs to go relatively quick. So, um, more than likely, the, the Maw Crusher will fly away after they kill um, Grack is how I'll probably rule it. So as long as they focus fire on Grack, the Maw Crusher will fly away. Maw Crusher is a CR-16 dragon, essentially, so they probably don't want to mess with that. Um, as, a, as an aside, um, the next adventure um, after this does involve a dragon, and I guess I could start prepping for that since I already finished this. 